Shaders in Roblox Studio. I figured out how to do it and I'll show you how you can do so as well in less than two minutes. So without any further ado, let's install Reshade. If this is your first time downloading shaders for Roblox Studio, then you don't have to do this step. But if you're like me and you've tried it before and messed up the game files, I highly recommend you reinstall Roblox Studio. Now that we're in Studio, in order to check whether our settings are set up correctly, we are going to the top left corner of the screen, go to Studio Settings, then go to the Renderings tab, and then click on Graphics Mode and make sure it's set to Automatic. Roblox Studio is set up correctly finally, and now we can download the actual shaders. So just head over to reshade.me, scroll down, and then press on this download button. Now make sure you press save file in this pop-up. I cannot do a tutorial for you to find back your file, so make sure you save it somewhere where you can find it. Now here comes the tricky part, because now we have to find the Roblox Studio folder. Luckily though, I know exactly where it is. So just look for Roblox Studio in your taskbar, then press open file location. You'll likely see something similar to this, so just right click on Roblox Studio again, press Press open file location and then finally here we are in the game directory now for the reshade setup click on the big button in the middle and then press browse we're going to want to copy the game directory for roblox studio over to this other tab and once you've pasted it in there, just select Roblox Studio Beta. Now for this step, just select OpenGL. Here we can choose which effects we want to install. I highly recommend you just check all of them and then press OK. Once it is finished, we're basically good to go. There's a link in the description for a few of my presets. All you have to do is drag all the files to the Roblox Studio folder. And now for the moment of truth, open Roblox Studio and see what happens. Nice, so we can see the reshade pop up, which means we installed correctly. Before you start using the shaders though, there are a few things that I need to tell you. First of all, there's an issue where sometimes your homepage for Roblox Studio will be shaded. Don't worry about this, this is completely normal. Secondly, there are a few occasions where the 3D effects, such as reflections and ambient occlusion, won't work. I suspect future lighting might be the reason for that, but it's up to you to test things out for yourself. And last but not least, you cannot get banned for using shaders in Roblox Studio. And that was basically it. I mean, I could not make it any shorter, unfortunately, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask them in my Discord server.